Yo, what is up guys? It is Small back again with another Epic 7 video for you guys today. And today we're going to be talking about why I personally think that Asmanac is not really worth farming anymore. Now Asmanac guys, it used to be the go-to hunt to start farming right after you finished your Wyvern team. But now because of the shift in the meta and because of the Katie's hunt coming out with even better sets, a lot of people are actually refraining from actually farming Asmanac. Now, Azimnak isn't completely useless, guys. It's still okay to farm if you want to farm it. But I personally think that you can get by by actually skipping this hunt almost entirely and just by starting to farm Banshee right after your Wyvern team. And once you hit the late game, you just can completely ignore Azimnak altogether. Now, why is Azimnak not that good? So, in the past, Azimnak was actually the second best hunt to farm after Wyvern and I guess Banshee, I guess, as well. So, probably the third best because of the fact that it gave you that immunity set. Immunity set was the premier secondary set to run on basically every unit before everyone started running KD sets, primarily penetration, right? Uh, but it's kind of fallen out of favor now. So immunity was very, very good because it's a two set. You can run it with any unit that was using a speed set or a counter set or even a lifestyle set. And it was pretty much almost required. But nowadays, it's not really that useful. Why? There's a lot of dispels and strips for the immunity set. So immunity set only lasts for one turn. And there's a lot of units that can actually dispel this immunity set. For example, if you look in the in the meta, right, we have a lot of meta units that can actually strip that immunity set, right? You have anything from like Conquer Lilius, right? Conquer Lilius, extremely meta unit, very powerful. She just strips that immunity set because she removes buffs that last for one turn. You also have like Ran, right? Very popular unit. This also dispels two buffs, right? Even non-openers, right? If you are against like a Bellion, like Bellion's S1 can constantly strip your immunity set, or not constantly, but can strip the immunity set at the start of battle if you actually proc or counterattack from Elbrus, making it completely useless. So there's a lot of options, right? You can even use like Politis, like Angel of Light, Alencia, Peira, Meteor, Cowric, right? The list goes on and on in why, you know, immunity set's not that great. There's a lot of stripping. Also next to that, there's also a lot of cleansing in the game, right? You have stuff like Angel of Light that can cleanse with their S2. Maid Chloe can cl cleanse with her S3. You also have like DN, very popular Soul Weaver right now, very strong. She can cleanse with her S2 as well. So you don't really need that immunity set. Honestly, you can let your debuffs or let the enemy debuff you and you can just cleanse it the next turn. It's very, very powerful. Now the thing is, if people aren't running immunity set though, what do Soul Weavers and Knights actually run? Because that is the set that they usually ran, right? You're not going to really run like Penetration Secondary on a Knight or a Soul Weaver anymore, right? The thing is, it is now better to run HP or even defense or effect resist as a backup set because of the fact that you don't really need that immunity set and you're just getting more stats, right? DNs, you'll see a lot of the time on effect resist sets or even HP sets. Aeros, Adventure Ross is also very popular meta. You'll see him all the time on HP sets now because of the fact that his barrier stacks with HP. A lot of the times, a lot of tanks now, you will not really see on immunity sets anymore. It is definitely better to run HP or even, like I said, defense or effect resist as a backup set or a secondary set and i think it's a very very better or a very strong way to actually you know optimize your units another reason why it's not that great is because fights take longer because of the meta shift to more bruisers and also because of the change to battle frenzy in rta so there's a lot of bruisers nowadays right you have anything from like dn you know stalling out games you have valencia right bellion conquerilius right i'm um, just really annoying to actually break through a lot of teams nowadays and because of that you know, it's just really, really strong to run certain sets over, you know, speed set even. So what I mean by that is like injury set, for example, right? Ignore my Bellion build, guys. It's a work in progress. It's really bad, actually. But for example, injury set will actually decrease max HP, right? And this is very good in longer fights because you actually kind of speed up the gameplay, right? You make it so that the enemy gets pressured by an injury user. It makes it very, very powerful. Also, they buffed injury set to actually apply better on single target units. So things like Alencia that can actually attack twice with their S1 into S2 can actually proc injury even faster, making it a lot better on units that can actually either AoE or hit multiple times. So injury is very, very strong. Also, penetration set, guys. So penetration sets from KDs, right? It is the most used secondary set in the game right now, mostly on bruisers, right? And anything that can single target attack very often. And penetration is very strong because it amplifies your damage by a lot. You penetrate defense, right? 15% de uh, defense penetration doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually a huge amount. And honestly, since it's a two set, you can pair it with whatever main set you're using. It makes it usable in pretty much 
you know, any situation. It's very, very OP for a two set, guys. Honestly, it feels like it should be a four set sometimes, but that would probably make it unusable. Um, but yeah, very, very powerful, right? Injury is a four set, guys. So, you know, that being said, you know, you're not going to be able to run injury with like another set, like speed set, obviously. But yeah, that makes it so like KD sets are very valuable now. So you're not going to really see immunity sets as often. Other sets are just a lot better. That's the main point I'm trying to get at. So if immunity sets useless, what about the other sets, right? So unity set guys, like I said, um, well, I didn't say, but unity set is pretty useless in my opinion. You can only really use it on like meme teams. I guess you could use it on like Spectre Tenebri as a secondary set or like even like um, Summer Break Charlotte, the new unit, or even Terranor Guard and Abyss. But most of the time, you're not going to really ever use unity set or anything. And rage set. So rage set is a very, very strong set for PvE, right? Used mostly for one-shot hunts. The only thing is one-shot hunts don't really speed up your progression anymore unless you're a whale and spend endless money on energy. And rage sets, or not rage sets, but one-shot hunts in general are more for your convenience. So yeah, not really required anymore. And the fact that Banshee's destruction set actually got buffed, right, makes it so that you can actually one-shot hunts now with destruction set. So you can actually kind of skip Azimnak altogether. Now the problem is after Wyvern, you go into Banshee right away, you're probably not going to be able to farm Banshee in a one-shot situation right off the bat. So you're probably, probably going to have to farm it normally. And that's really up for you to decide. Do you want to farm Banshee normally if you have the units for it? If you don't, I guess you can dip into Azimnak and farm one rage set, right? Uh, but mostly you can, you know, skip Azimnak altogether and you'll be safe for now. Now obviously this is subject, subject to change. You know, sets can get buffed and nerfed. I think probably in the near future, Azimnak sets will get buffed somewhat, or they'll add another set that's really good. Something like that that makes it worthwhile farming. But in the current state of the game, right, all these sets are pretty useless, whereas a long time ago, Azimnak was very important to farm because of that immunity set. So that being said, like, not really a point to farm Azimnak. Just to summarize, guys, like, you know, a lot of strips for that immunity buff, right? You have a lot of cleansing nowadays, so you can always cleanse those debuffs on the second turn. And also, because fights take longer, right, KD's injury set has extreme value in longer fights. And penetration set is just super broken as a two set because it's very good on bruisers that do single target damage. And there's a lot of those in the meta right now, like Alencia, Shu, uh, Spectre Tenebria, Apoc Ravi, right? So many units, um, Violet, even like Remnant Violet. So yeah, that being said, you know, definitely, definitely fine to skip Azimnak for now. You know, I think the typical progression which will be the best for newer players would actually be like Wyvern, um, maybe Azimnak to farm one rage set. And I guess you can keep the immunity sets you get from that, but you can kind of skip it and go Wyvern, Banshee, and then Kades after. And yeah, that way you won't be really wasting that much energy. Right now, farming Azimnak kind of feels like a waste of energy. The only times like I farm it actually is for that rage set. Um, but honestly, you don't really need that rage set because one shot hunts are nice to have, but it actually doesn't save you energy or give you more mats in the long run, unless you're spending a lot of money. So yeah, that being said, guys, yeah, Azimnak not really worth farming. If you guys think otherwise, let me know down below in the comments down below. I'm always open to the discussion. But for me personally, I have completely stopped farming Azimnak. I'm basically farming Wyvern, Banshee, and Katie's, and I guess Golem sometimes for that HP set as well. Um, that being said, hope you guys found this video useful, guys. And always, you know, make sure to leave a comment down below and also hit that like button to help me out. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.